Once the aircraft has landed at its destination and the passengers have disembarked, you might think that it's the end of the flight. But it isn't. The services, like air traffic control, still have to be paid for. But who pays? And how? Air transport is unique amongst transport modes in Europe in that it is entirely self-funding. The infrastructure for roads, railways and maritime transport are largely paid for by taxpayers. But airspace users, and logically their passengers, pay for what they use themselves. So airspace users pay the states for the airspace and terminals they use. This revenue is used to finance the services provided to aviation. Most of the money is spent on air traffic control, people and equipment. But states also invest in longer term development. The average fee for a European flight's ATM services is approximately 850 euros. As the European situation is very complex, because most flights go across several countries, a Central Route Charges Office, CRCO, is responsible for collecting all the fees from the users and returning them to the states. This amounts to some 6 billion euros per year. It is Eurocontrol that runs the Central Route Charges Office, based in Brussels.